Now before we dive in, if you find my videos useful, make sure to click that subscribe button and also make sure to click that bell icon on the side to get notified every time I upload a new video. And of course, if you do use Twitter, Instagram or Facebook, make sure to follow me on all at Saki Tech Online also for the latest updates. All right, let's dive in. Hey guys, Sock here from Saki Tech and in today's video, I'm going to share five amazing apps for your Android smartphone. So let's dive right in and discover. So the very first step I want to share is known as the bottom quick settings. So basically it takes your quick toggles panel from the top over here and dumps it to the bottom of the screen. And of course it is fully customizable. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So if I pull this up from the bottom over here, you'll see that I have a bunch of quick toggles and then I can go ahead and I can expand this. And now I have full access to my quick toggles from the bottom of the screen, which is going to make it easier for you to reach your smartphone with your thumb uh, with one hand. Now, as you can see over here, you can see your carrier, you can see the time, you can see the battery percentage meter, uh, you can see the brightness slider over here, and you can see all your quick toggles. And of course, as I said, this is fully customizable. So let me show you the interface of this application. So let's go into my app drawer over here. And if I tap on the bottom quick settings, as you can see, that is the main screen to customize everything. So the very first thing you can do is you can change the color. So I can tap on the colors and I can pick any color that I want. Boom, that's the red color. Now if I pull it down from the bottom, as you can see, I have a new red colors for my quick toggles and my sliders. And again, if I go back into that um, application customization screen, you have all these different colors. So let's look at this one over here. Let's go back out, pull this up. And now you have brand new colors. So that's one thing you can do. Let's go back in there. Uh, let me just pick the default color for now. And the other thing you can do is you can add more sliders to your bottom notifications panel. So if I tap on sliders over here, I can add the media volume, the alarm, the ring and notification. So let's just use this one. For example, let's go back, go back out, pull this up and pull it up one more time. And as you can see, now I have the brightness slider and also the media volume slider over here. Okay. So that's another thing you can customize with this application. Now the application is going to be free to download and the basic functionality, which is the fact that you can pull it down from the bottom over here, pull it up from the bottom over here is included. Okay. But if you do want to customize your colors, you're going to have to pay a little premium price and that's going to unlock all the premium features. But again, you can get it for free and do a lot of things. Now, if you tap on tiles over here, you also have the ability to add or remove tiles from that uh, thing over here, this right here. So as you can see, this one over here replicates what I have uh, over here. So if I go up here and if I want to add something like NFC, I can tap on it. It goes over there. Uh, if I want to tap on the play button, I can have that over there too. Now, when I pull this thing up, you'll see that I have NFC and play button right over here, which replicates this tile interface right over here. This is the active and these are all the inactive options that you do have. And of course, one of my favorite features here is you can also add a URL. So I can actually insert a website over here. So let me remove a couple of these guys. Let me just remove this, 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 and this. Okay. And I'm going to tap on URL and then I'm going to say is the name. I'm going to just say Google. Okay. And then I'll tap in the URL www.com. I'm going to click OK. And now that's an URL I can access right from here uh, as a shortcut. So if I pull this up, I can tap on this one. It'll launch Chrome and take me to Google.com. That's absolutely fantastic. All right. So that's app number one. Let's move on and talk about app number two. So this app actually is known as recent notifications. So as you know, many times we have so many notifications just uh, bundle over here. Many times we just clear. And then sometimes you might think that I just clear something that was important. So there's an app that actually captures all the notifications you get in your notifications panel over here and saves them. Okay. So even if you clear throughout the day, just to skip those uh, many notifications, you can always go back into the uh, recent notifications application. And that's going to have all your apps for that day recorded over here. And of course, again, this is free to download. And when you get it for free, you can do everything uh, basic. So it is going to record all your notifications. You can read them no problem. But if you do want some premium features, if I tap on this one, you are able to buy that for $2 just to customize the application to your own style. Okay. So you can read that over here. But again, it's a very simple application. 
that's actually very useful. Captures and saves all the notifications uh, throughout the day. You can just clear this out. And when you do have time later, you can come back and see if there was any, you can see if there's anything important that happened over here. And when you're done with the notification here, you can just swipe it away and that notification does get removed, all right? So that's known as the recent notifications application. The next app I wanna talk about is known as the MuViz application. It's also free to download. So let me show you what it does. I'm gonna show you then how to customize it. So, so let me launch the music application right over here, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on play and as you can see at the bottom, we have a nice little animation uh, showcasing itself, okay? So basically, this is this is what Muvis allows you to do. So let me just pause this for a minute. When you pause, it disappears. So let me go back uh, Let me go back into Muvis right over here. And what I want you guys to, sh to show you is, well, first of all, it's free, and there's a lot of free options. And again, you can upgrade if you want to use everything that's over here, which I've done. So just to give you an example, I can tap on this one, okay? Just click Allow. And now you can also uh, preview the thing before you actually tap on go live. So we're good to go. Now, if I go back into my music application right over here, click on play, you'll see that new styling at the bottom here. And again, we have so many styles here that's just simply amazing. So let me go back up here. Uh, let's pick one thing that looks a little bit better. Uh, let's use uh, this one right over here. Okay, so tap on go live, go back, go to the music application, boom, play. And as you can see, we've got that gorgeous uh, animation at the bottom as your music plays. And of course, this also works on YouTube. So if you're listening to music on YouTube and you want to see this kind of effect at the bottom, you can see that as well. One more thing with Muvi's application is you can customize individual animations. So if I go back over here, uh, let me just pick one more. This seems to be really cool over here, okay? And if I tap on customize, now I can change the shape. I can change the color. As you can see, I can pick different colors. I can change the color gradient, so I can actually uh, play with everything over here. I can change the size, so I can make it low or I can make it high. I can change the height. I can make it even higher, okay? And I can click this, and then it goes under yours section. You tap on it, and now let's click on go live. Boom, boom, over here, play, okay? Even when I exit the application, this, this is gonna continue happening at the bottom, which is fantastic. And like I said, you have all these different cool options that you can pick from anytime that you please. Just a nice way to customize your actual experience, okay? Let's show you one more that's a little bit different. Let's tap on this one over here. Go live, go to the music application. Look at that, very nice, all right? So that's app number four. Uh, let's close everything up over here and let's move on to the next application. Now, another application I want to talk about is something a little bit more serious. Now, this application is called the Robin Hood application. Let me launch it real quick. It's a financial application. So if I tap on Robin Hood, it's going to ask me to log in. I'm going to log right in. Uh, basically, uh, this is one way to invest in stocks. So as you can see, I have it right over here. Uh, if you do uh, download Robin Hood, you can trade, buy, and sell stocks for free. So you can buy Facebook stocks. You can buy Apple stock. You can buy you can buy any stock that is available on the market that you please. So if I go up over here, I'm gonna show you guys right now that I do have a bunch of Apple stocks and a bunch of Fit stocks, Fitbit stocks. So if I tap on this here, I have four shares of Apple stocks. I'm gonna show you what I really like about this thing. So after I bought my stock, the Apple stock price went up a little bit. So if I go down over here, it shows me what is today's return. So today I lost minus $3. But my total return from the day that I actually purchased the stock was $74.44. And as you can see, it's a dynamic, so it keeps changing. So I've so far uh, made a nine plus percent growth on my Apple stock. I did purchase four stocks for $187, okay? And now uh, each stock of Apple is $206, so I made that much money. Had I purchased 100 stocks, I would have made much more money. But the whole point of this uh, application is you can actually buy, sell, and trade stocks for free. So I can go right now, for example, if I go over here, I can, let's just pick this as, a, as an example right here. If I want to buy the stock, all I do is click buy, okay? And of course, you have to put some money in your app via your bank account. So I have 150 bucks available. I can actually buy uh, one of these stocks. I can tap on this one and it's gonna say not enough buying power. I can submit more deposit and just buy the stock, okay? So that's how easy it is to buy stocks on this application. 
uh, and you can browse through any stocks that you want. So if I wanted to buy a Dell stock, boom, okay? So as you can see, it's 63, 63, $66. I can just buy this guy right now by tapping, I wanna buy one share for $66. I click okay, and then it, it asks you to swipe up the trade and you're done. And there's no fees to buy anything. All right, so that's a great way to get into investing, which is a very risky business, by the way. I'm not giving advice on what to buy here. Uh, it's just a tool to go and buy stocks. You make your own choice on what stocks you want to buy, okay? So that's a Robinhood application. All right, so the last app I want to talk about is known as a Smart Tools application. So if I launch this application right over here, as you can see, you have a whole suite of applications here, all bundled into one application. Now, this now this is the only application you do have to pay money for. But basically you have all these tools. So if I can go into the unit conversion utility here and I can uh, convert units, area, weight, volume, whatever you want. Uh, I can go over here. I can actually tap on the sound uh, button here. Okay, so this is actually a sound meter. So even as I'm talking, it's uh, actually measuring how loud I am. Okay, so if I, if I, if I speak louder, as you can see, it goes up a little bit, okay? If I go back here, I can tap on this one. Uh, this is, in, in fact, a vibrometer, okay? So if something that you need to use, you have it here as well. And of course, you have a compass over here, which looks pretty good, uh, right over here. Uh, let's close, you do have to calibrate that. Go back, you have a uh, metal detector. So actually, if you do have metal close by, which I do, I do have a metal uh, laptop uh, right over here, so it's detecting that metal right here. Uh, it's, it's got that metal detector. It's got uh, light tools. As you can see, you got a mirror here, which is basically a uh, front-facing camera. But you do have extra options at the bottom that allows you to make most of these things. You also have flashlight. You can use the LED or the screen. But all these things are in here. Okay, you got the rulers, distance meters, compass, sound unit converters, and light tools. All right, so that was the last application. Uh, for you guys. If you do have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below and let me know. But for now, guys, have a fantastic day. All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.